you know, it's Bobby and uh, eating pies. I've just pulled up at the uh, the bakery here in Kite. It's uh, it's called the Country Cob Bakery, and uh, they've won a stack of awards: 2018, 2019 Best Pies. Let's just go and see what the pies look like. Introduce yourself, introduce yourselves to the owner, and uh, see if he'll have a chat. Talk to us about his pies. Okay. Let's go. Okay, we're just making sure we're COVID friendly, distancing. And I'm Bob, what's your name? Oh, Ryan. Hi, Ryan, how are you? Yeah, good, good. So, so, so what's, how did you finish up in, in Kite cooking, <laughs> oh, cooking that, pies? Yeah, that's a good question. So, we used to have like a, a bakery, like a yeah. small one, yeah. near like, the other side of the city, like oh. the Doncaster area, yeah. or Orwin. And it's on. So you do a bit of a refurb? And... Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we've done a lot of change here actually. We changed the whole dining room, changed the floor, cabinets and things. Yeah, yeah, okay. And then, yeah. Uh... So how many different pies do you cook? Uh, we have around, so on the menu, like the permanent one, probably around 20. 26 flavors. And what's special about your pies? Do you reckon? What do you sort of, what do you put it down to being so successful? Oh well, lots of hard work actually. Yeah, yeah a lot, a lot of it. Okay. Well, we hard, like a lot of you know, like like passion, a lot of love yeah. in, in the production day by day, like every day. So I noticed you've got a machine of people out there working yeah. way hard. Yeah, we all use the self made maids. We don't use like uh, all like. Yeah, so yeah. the boys work very hard Fantastic. to produce that, that perfection. So. And girls here? Yeah, the girl, I'm going to like responsible for all the you know, customer service. Front end, uh, yeah. front end. So we have like a very good team. So yeah. The front and the back. So we just, you know, work like a very good team together. Yeah. I'm going to try a pie. I love curry yeah. pies. Why not? <laughs> what do you recommend? No, I want a pie. Yeah. What do you recommend? Oh, well, we, we have quite a very... Ah, quite a few few flavors that I like myself. Yep. So I think curry pie would be one of them. Or just a plain, yeah, or plain yeah, one, yeah. or pork and pepper, the best pie last year. Yeah, you can what try. was the best pie last year? So last year is the caramel like pork and pepper. Oh. And the year before, the satay seafood. So we won like two years in a row. Oh, satay seafood? Yes. So it's got a bit of an Asian influence. Yes, yeah. Yeah. actually we, we have a lot of like Asian infusion. Yeah, 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 so that's why we, we can see lots of like Asian customers they come in to try our pie because it's oh, oh, it like, seems like the only baby you do doing a lot of Asian flavor yeah. in the pie feeling so yeah. that's why. <laughs> Rob, thanks for talking to me, it's been fantastic, Brian. Thank you, thank you. And good luck with the shop. Yeah, thank you. I hope you win another award. Oh, hopefully, yeah. yeah. We'll keep working hard still. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to buy one and taste one. Yeah, why one. not? Yeah, see you. See ya. Okay. All right. Just, uh, come out of the shop which uh, is just quite a fantastic pie shop in Kite and uh, the owner there Ryan uh, who um, was a baker out in uh, Doncaster and purchased a shop up here in Kite it's moved up and has made a real success of it 2018 2019 award-winning pies uh, he's just given me one to sample um, and I'm going to uh, open it in front of you now, have a try and see what we think. Not what Brian thinks, let's see what Joe Public thinks. In fact, given, given the amount of people who are walking in and out of the shop at this time of the day, I think, uh, I think Ryan is very successful in his little shop. I think they're doing very well. And they've got this huge um, appeal to the Asian audience because they as he said, they infuse a lot of their flavours with um, having some Asian tasting pies or flavoured pies. Okay, so the pies got a good depth about it again. Um, it's nicely cooked, good colour. I've broken the corner off. Nice, nice. Pastry is magnificent. The meat, um, the meat is quite um, solid. It's, um, it's not actually running out of the pie. Yeah, the taste is good. The taste is good. Um, 
I don't know whether it, uh, whether I'm enjoying this as much as the, the last shop I, I went to uh, in Corumburra, Kelly's. But um, yet this has got such a massive reputation. I, I don't think wine's uh, wine's as, as good as Kelly's. To be quite honest. Let's have, a, let's have another taste. I, I, not being a smarty, he was so nice to me. I, I want to give him the votes, but I, uh, the texture, the smell, it's all good, but it's not as good as what Kelly's was. So I'm, I'm giving Ryan a uh, five and a half. Um, Six, he's just falling behind Kelly, I'm afraid. Certainly worth going there, though. There's a massive reputation in that place. Um, people herding into it on a rainy, miserable day, kite, and it's freezing cold, and it's full of people getting pies for lunch. So there's something good about it. But I personally, like the Corumburra pies, I tried better. All right, let's get on to our um, our next venue. I'll save that. Otherwise, I'll finish up the side of the house if I eat every pie I go to. So let's see if we can get something up in Bridgewater. I had a pie there a few years ago, and they were absolutely magnificent. So let's uh, let's review that. See if they're still up to speed. All right, see ya.